Hi scrapbookers, it's Katie Scott and I'm doing a creative team get it scrapped assignment and the assignment is to channel Celeste Smith. Now if you don't know who Celeste Smith is, um, she is a scrapbooker who has been contributing to the online world and all sorts of scrapbooking um, goodness. I'm not really sure. When I first was uh, saw her work it was in the pages of Simple Scrapbooks magazine and I adored it then and I adore it now. So here is an example. This is Celeste Smith and um, this is an example of her work. I'm on my Pinterest board um, called Scrapbook Like Celeste Smith. So what I've noticed lately and I think she's at, oh it says she's at right click scrapbook and I think she's still there. Um, but what I've noticed lately is she's gone from paper to digital scrapbooking and she also um, she's using a lot of strips at the top and the bottom and she's using a lot of machine stitching which I'm guessing she's doing on um, on the digital whatever <laughs> on the computer um, let me just go to my boards now let's just see so if you go to my boards. Um, I'm Katie Scott on Pinterest and I'm Katie Scott in real life too. <laughs> but um, I have a board called Scrapbook Like Celeste Smith. I also have it for a lot of other scrapbookers that I admire and let me just go to my pins and I have 330 boards so a lot of times when I want to search for a board because I can't figure out how to Pinterest how to get Pinterest to put my things into alphabetical order. It does it on my iPhone but not on my PC. But I'll just go to my pin and and then click on the board that I want to go to. So this board is called Scrapbook Like Celeste Smith and you just see a lot of her layouts have either we're seeing either white or or craft or wood grain or graph as her background and then she's doing a strip at the top, a strip at the bottom with machine stitching. A lot of times she's hand cutting the strips and then we're seeing some either confetti or mist in the middle and then her design is usually um, like a messy block and so that's what I'm going to be um, not scrap lifting today but I'm going to be using those elements so let's just write those down um, or I'll write them down just so I have an avalanche over there um, so number one is the the strips, top and bottom, with the machine stitching. Number two is craft, or white. And then number three is the messy block. And this is how you can really, if you enjoy someone's style, this is how you can um, kind of channel what they're doing. And then another thing she's doing are the mist, or enamel dots, or so some kind of mist or splatter around her, um, around the messy block. Um, also, just let's take a look at her titles. Um, she's got the title right outside of the messy block, right outside of the messy block. Um, let's see how else she's doing her titles. Um, here is a title that's kind of within the block. This title is within the block. Um, and then uh, this one's right outside. This one's probably within. So the I'm just going to write down the title is either going to be within or right next to the messy block. And the other thing I notice about Celeste is she doesn't use a lot of pink. She uses her colors are um, blue, orange, like an off green and red. I would I would say those are her some of her colors that we see her using quite a bit of. So that's that those are my that's my inspiration. If you want to go ahead and look at her board, go ahead and do so. But I will I'm going to I'm going to move this um, video so you're going to have a little bit of disturbance here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't have any makeup on, so there we go. Um <laughs> Okay, so during one of the Masterful Scrapbook Design um, office hours or interviews, I remember Celeste saying that this is her favorite paper of all time. 
and look Celeste. I have two. And so I just grabbed, um, so that I could channel Celeste Smith, I grabbed a bunch of um, Studio Calico papers from that same line. Um, hold on, I'm just, just reorganizing my room a little just to, because um, I had the camera in a different whoops, spot. So there we go. Okay, so I pulled some Studio Calico um, papers that kind of reminded me of Celeste Smith. So this is called Anthology from Studio Calico, and I think I know for a fact this is her favorite paper of all time. So this is definitely going on the page. Um, that might. So now I'm just doing a process of which ones am I going to use. I've got some letter stickers to go with it. I've got a graph paper. Now this looks like a paper that would be real good for the background, as does this one, which has a very light text on it. Got some stickers. I've got more letter stickers. And this was a situation where you're like, why do you have so many of those? Because I go to the scrapbooking yard sales and you get ridiculous deals. <laughs> that's why. So um, that's why I have so many of those. And I am such a fan of the scrapbooking yard sales at my local scrapbook store. I also have two sheets of this. I'm just putting the, these over to the side. So these are, you know, potentials for that. that um, so I'm just looking through to see what, see, look at this. It's, it's like four, five sticker sheets, which I think are normally like $2, like 10 cents, <laughs> seriously, at the scrapbooking yard sale. So I'm a thrifty girl. <laughs> I'm proud. Um, okay, so first up, let's um, let's pick this graph paper as our background paper. So I think that's similar enough to either like she does she's doing a white or a cardstock, a craft cardstock kind of a background. Um, I'm not seeing any that have. Well, I've, I do see one that where she has a grid. So <clears throat> let me. Um, and then let's do some splattering since she's doing that. <laughs> so here we go with the cut off that little bottom strip. And now I'm gonna splatter, which <coughs> excuse me, I'm still getting over a cold. Um I'm recording this in January, and this I think this is gonna go up in February. So I'm just gonna lay out some other cardstocks kind of as a mat because I'm afraid of being messy with that, um, with the, the mist. <laughs> so here we go with some splatter, and I don't really have any particular plan for it, but I think what I am looking for it to do is be like a background to the messy block. So if we assume I'm going to do strip, strip, messy block. A lot of her splatters um, seem to go he from here to here. So let's do that. And instead of misting it, I'm going to do this technique that I tried yesterday for the first time. So I'm just like tap, tap, tapping. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> tap, 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 tap. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like not very good at this technique where you just go bump, bump, bump. <laughs> and I think she does everything. I want to say she used to be a paper scrapbooker and I think she's a, she's digital now. Oh, that, that helps a little with the other. It's almost like, you know, trying to get ketchup out of a bottle. So there's some splatter. I feel sufficiently splattered. I think when she does her splatters, they're more contained than what I just did. The other color, just because I have two colors, <laughs> I missed that. That completes my misting collection. So let's do this again. Yeah, I am. I've even gotten it onto my desk, which is okay with me because I have um, an, an old fashioned, oops, <laughs> it's almost too much on my desk. See if I can just get that off a little bit. 
Um, I have an old-fashioned tinker desk from 1938, and I looked up some old ads for tinker desks, and they're supposed to be indestructible. So I was like, oh, that would be the perfect thing. <laughs> but it has a lot of, like, secret compartments and interesting things like that. So I like to um, film my scrapbooking videos in real time so they're not sped up like you see a lot of videos are sped up which I understand why and there's some folks that really enjoy a shorter video um, but for me I like I do like the longer video because I like to think of these as, as okay I need to dry that mist so I'm gonna get my heat gun tool out but I like to think of these um, Videos. Can you hear my dog? Sorry about that if you can. She's chewing up a, do a, a deer antler and she's doing it very enthusiastically. <laughs> but I have to keep an eye on her because you know what she did this morning? She chewed up her own collar. <laughs> she's a new dog um, to us. She's a year and a half old, but she was a rescue. And um, so most of her behavior is good. Oh, she knows I'm talking about her. Look. Hi, Jesse. Oh, you're a good girl. You're so nice. Um, <laughs> she is a good girl, but she has a couple of behaviors that need to be corrected a little bit. Um, lately, we've been joking that about. Have you ever heard that joke where they say, you know, does your dog bite? <laughs> and then the guy says, no. And then the guy, the other guy walks over to the dog, and the dog, of course, bites his hand. And the guy says, but that's not my dog. <laughs> well, this is my dog, and um, her name is Jessie. Jessie! Come here, Jessie, look. You're so nice. Look, show the people how pretty you are. You're so pretty with no collar. Um, she's very nice, but she does bite a little bit. <laughs> so we're training her out of that. She's a good girl. Okay. <laughs> Um, and so, yeah, show them how pretty you are. You're so pretty, you're so pretty. Okay. <laughs> okay. She's like, she does like, is it over? Are you still going to give me 11? Um, okay, so next stop on the Celeste Smith Express is um, the strip at the bottom and the strip in the top. So I might actually have to do a layout about, about her. Here's, I have a picture of her, so let's use that one. And there she is with her collar, which she she has destroyed. It's okay, Jessie. Well, then I'm gonna just let her out onto my balcony here. She likes to do that. She's she looks like she's a little bit bored in here. We're having um uncharacteristically cold weather. It's the Arctic blast. Um, oh, my desk is getting messy because I've been producing a lot of scrapbook pages. And so the more I do, the messier it gets. Um, but it's okay. I like to clean up after after each time I scrapbook. And so I've sort of done that, but not to the extent I normally do. But I'm trying to crank out a bunch of layouts for the Get It Scrapped um, Create a Team deadline. And I've got some other projects that I'm working on that are very exciting. So let's just choose, um, let's see. So I'm going to do the strips at the top and the bottom, and what she does is she doesn't just use one, she uses like a couple. So let's do that. So we've got, and she's like kind of, they're not um, even, <coughs> so sorry, I still have a cold. So there's. And I'm going to put this at the bottom so that Z word is upside down. And that's a trick from um, Lisa Dickinson. She says, if you don't want to know what that word is, just put it upside down. And that way, nobody will know. So now I'm looking for some other strips. I knew I had the red on the back of something. Okay. This is where I get a little, I have the red on the back of that, but that's so, I love that side of the paper so much. 
so I don't really want to use that side. So I'm just going into my scrap bin. Um, this is what I'm talking about. I have a little scrap bin where I keep like just things that I use in different layouts. So let's get a little bit of green going. And I think I might have cut that too crazy. Ah, eh, it's okay. We'll go with it. Yeah, my, <laughs> my room is a mess. <laughs> my room is a mess right now. It's, it's shameful. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay to make a mess. Um, but at some point, you have to clean it up. I'm not just not there yet. Here's a little different color. And let's see if I can use that yellow. And then the other cute thing I've seen in some of her layouts, maybe I'm going to put this yellow over here, is she's done like a little banner, you know, or something, like a little shape or something um, in that area. This is, these are some numbers. Let's see. This looks like jelly bean soup. And I'm going to do that same thing where I put them kind of upside down. There we go. So we just, we know their numbers, but we're not really paying attention to what the numbers are. So that looks pretty good to me. Um, oh, here's some red. And I'm just intention. oh, this is the back side of this paper I'm using right now. So that's just going to go right here. Okay, I like that. I'm going to now sew that down. So I have a philosophy of pick it and stick it. So don't like overthink what you're doing. Just get it on the page. And if it looks pretty good, go with it. <laughs> she's, she's out there on my balcony. She's, um, my scrapbook room has upgraded. <laughs> so I used to have a room that was, um, half of the space of a one car garage with a French door so I did get a tiny bit of natural light but very little and um, I moved my scrapbooking room over this past like past couple months to a room that um, has four French doors and a balcony so woohoo <laughs> And it, um, I get a lot more light, especially during the day. And then I have some, some light, a, a light that I use when it's nighttime and I'm scrapbooking and I want to photograph or film a video. So, oh, my door's going to shut. Hold on. <laughs> I just have to put a little stool in front of my door so it won't slam. <clears throat> But it's 40 degrees here. It's it's like I'm in Florida and um, we're having that Arctic blast. <laughs> Everybody else got it a lot worse. But then I still have a cold and I could go into work today except there's nothing on my calendar and um, I kind of don't want to infect everybody at work with my hideous cold. And also, honestly, it's kind of nice to have a day in my house without people. <laughs> so we just got finished with our Christmas vacation, or everybody did, but um, kids are back in school. Woohoo! <laughs> so I love them, but it's also nice when they go to school. <laughs> and yeah, I think moms can identify. So I'm going to get these down and then I'm going to, and I don't want to use too much tape. I want to use enough tape so it's not moving around, but not too much tape so as to gum up my, um, I'm just going to use these right side up because that's how, the, that's the uneven line is the right side up one. And for some reason, the 
I can't seem to get anything uploaded to get it scrapped today. They might be doing some service, or maybe they're having a blizzard up there. I don't know. Debbie um, is up in New Hampshire, where I think they're having all sorts of bad weather, or very, very cold weather. Let's see if we can get this in to this little space. Maybe it will go up, so I do. <laughs> However which way it can go is going to be fine. I just want to get it, get it scrapped. Get it? <laughs> oh, we're 20 minutes in and I'm feeling like I'm taking so much time. So sorry. So I make my scrapbook videos in real time for the most part. Um, not every time, but most of the time I do that. And um, what that means is sometimes you'll have a longer video, which some people like. Not everybody does, but some people do. <laughs> so Seth Godin, who is a blogger about, I guess, business, but also I would consider creativity. He, um, he had a blog post recently that was like, cater to the weird. So my videos are for those, those scrapbookers who like a long video. Like, not everyone does, but... So his example was, you know, most people drink coffee, but if you offer tea, and then you offer it in 50 different flavors, the people who like tea are really going to love you for it. So that's my... <laughs> there you go. That's my little philosophy on, um, on the, the long scrapbook videos. Really? Honestly, though, it's not really about that. It's really just because it's easier for me <laughs> to um, get them done that way. This is October afternoon. I just want a little bit more color up at the top. Something. So sometimes she does like a shape or a banner. Like not the whole length of it, but just part of, part of this top and bottom thing. So I'm channeling Celeste. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I've been a, a fan of Celeste Smith and Emily Pitts and Lisa Dickinson, like a lot of the girls that are here at Get It Scrapped and Masterful Scrapbook Design since um, Simple Scrapbooks is where I was introduced to most of them. And Paula Gillard, that's how you say her name. She's here too. They were all, they all graced the pages of Simple Scrapbooks back in the day. If you don't know about Simple Scrapbooks, it was a scrapbooking magazine. And um, it was more about telling the story on the page. And more about keeping the artistic part of it kind of simple. Whereas like creating keepsakes and scrap scrapbook, etc. were more about more fruitier pages. Let's see if she does a, I think she just does a straight stitch, so that's what I'll do. I'm kind of tempted to do, well, I'll do one a little, for a little bit, a zigzag. Oh, it's not doing a zigzag. Hold on. Here we go. So I've got a little bit of a zigzag, but now I'll go back to straight. <laughs> Gosh. Oh. Hold on. There we go. Something is catching. I get a string. A thread. Hi Jessie. She's back. Okay, so there's oh I know what happened. Uh, I ran out of bobbin thread. Oh how fun. Sorry about that. This is not supposed to be a tutorial on that, but here we go. So this is how you load your bobbin, in case you are wondering. It'll only take a second. And you can always fast forward these things if you want. Okay, ready? Oh, you can't even see it. Hold on. There you go. <laughs> There's some action right there. Isn't that exciting?
kind of exciting. I always get a little gratification out of doing that. <laughs> it's fun. Okay. So load this back up. At the last live chat at Get It Scrap, Debbie Hodge was saying how she had to hem some pants, and I was like, oh, put them out over here on my table. I can do it. Because <laughs> I always have my sewing machine handy. And my sewing machine is mainly used for scrapbooking, but I do the occasional pants hem. <laughs> so let me just get this threaded, which now that I'm in my 40s is more difficult. Oh, I got it on the first try. How about that? Oh, oh my Jessie girl. She's, she's staring at me. She's sitting over on the bed. Okay, so let's try that again. So I'm just going to start where it kind of messed up. Uh, about here. And let me just go backwards a little bit. So that's how we're looking so far, channeling Celeste Smith. And I'm going to do the zigzag for a little bit and then I'll switch over to the, the straight. I think the sewing is probably just about done on the page and hopefully the rest of this page is going to go together fairly quickly. I hope. For your sake. <laughs> and for the sake of uploading it to YouTube. That's my other um, incentive to keep the video short because the longer it is, the longer it takes to upload. <laughs> okay, so there's my page. So I've done the strip at the top and the bottom. I've done a craft white or graph paper. I've done the, um, the mist or splatter and now it's time for the messy block. So these are my pictures and I know they look very much the same. Now Celeste Smith would never do this. No. She would pick one and just do it right there in the middle. Or if she did two pictures they would be small and in the middle. They wouldn't like take up the whole amount of space. So I kind of like this one. She's tilting her head a little bit. I'm going to just trim it up just a tiny, tiny bit. There we go. And I'll just set the other one in a little drawer where all the pictures that I don't, um, don't get used, that's where they go. And now to do the messy block, I'm just going to look to... Um, <clears throat> okay, on one of her layouts, it's a layout that looks like it's about a Keurig coffee maker. She doesn't have the splatter, but she's got the, like, um, some stamping. And I even have, I have a stamp <laughs> available. So let me just see if I can work some of that in. I'm just looking for the... Okay, so just to add a little bit more texture, I've got this background heart stamp, because I love my Jessie girl, <laughs> and I'm just going to stamp, 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 so I've kind of gotten this messy block of and I don't think she would go this far. I think she would keep it lighter. But since I always pile everything on a little too heavy, <laughs> um, that's how I'm going to do it. So there we go. And now we need some, some underneath. So let's um, take this blue color. Seems like that's too large. Let me just see. Nope, 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 nope. 
and I'm just looking through my, my scraps. So what I sort of want to do is keep within this color scheme, but maybe have a few surprises. Here's a Studio Calico paper. That seems like way too large, but it also seems like that could kind of work a little bit. So I'm going to just do some hand cutting of these mats so they're not so that they're not perfect because that top and bottom bit they weren't perfect either. Um, And really, I'm just looking in this bin for pieces that are going to be, like, big enough because, because I don't know. <laughs> I don't really think they are. Let's just see. This is October afternoon, and I like this put because it's kind of like, got that, there's a little bit of yellow here and here. I kind of like maybe having a little bit of yellow right in the middle there. <clears throat> um, we're almost there. I think we're almost there with this. I think I just feel like there ought to be a little bit of red towards the middle. I have pink. You know, we know she doesn't use pink, or I don't think she uses a lot of it. Let's see. I can do kind of a fake underneath for there. Okay, um, I'm going to call that good. So I'm going to adhere that down. I don't think that's exactly how Celeste Smith would have put it together, um, but that's how I'm going to put it together. So are channeling, but we're not completely copying here. So I'm just going to stick some of these down just right where they are. And since I got them from the scrap pile, I'm not all that worried about, um, I'm not very worried about like saving any part of them. They're just lucky to be getting to use on my paper. <laughs> These scraps. Oh, I I do. I have this. Uh, I really enjoy trying to use old stuff and use it up, and feel like I'm being thrifty about it. I don't think it's really all that thrifty, though. I don't know. When you have as much stuff as I do, you, it's probably not thrifty. Okay, I don't really like this one. This this piece of paper was just ripped in the... I ripped it at the top, so I want to make it look like it was part of this. So the rip needs to go on the same side. That's my only concern there. So that's... Fine. I think I'm going to just move it down a little bit. Maybe up a little bit. No, I think I want to move it like just down here a little bit. Okay, so one of the things we used to say to one of my old dogs, Dandy, who was a yellow lab and was the sweetest dog who ever lived, would never ever bite you. For goodness sakes, this one bites a little bit. Um, 
but Dandy always liked a question, and so <laughs> I like he'd say, "Dandy, you want to go for a walk?" And he'd be like, <gasps> "Oh, she just Jesse just looked too. Jesse knows about the W word, W A O K, but like you could ask Dandy, like Dandy, you want to go to the vet, <laughs> or Dandy, you want to like you know go do something you don't like to do." And if you just like did the inflection at the end, Dandy would be all over that. So I think the title of this one is going to be like, Jesse, like a question? Because we're trying, you know, I know she's never going to be the same as my old dog, but you know, oh, our old dog was so sweet. Okay, so what I want to do is just add a little bit of um, machine stitching under here. So you thought I was done with that. I did too. But I just feel like it just, I'd like to have some around this frame of her just to, for some consistency. So it's just going to go, I think, around here. But I don't actually want it to go on the picture, so let me just pull that picture up one more time. And <coughs> here we go. Pull out the machine once more. Whoops. So I really enjoy um, starting with an inspiration when I scrapbook. I think it makes things easy. So I think I am going to use the zigzag around this one, even though I don't think Celeste Smith would. <laughs> it's like, what would Celeste Smith do? And so what you want to do is if you're scraplifting somebody or, you know, channeling somebody is do some of what they would do, but then do some of what you would do too. mostly back so I have my good clean space to work on. Okay, so here's a little picture of Jessie and it's going to go right there. And one thing I've noticed is when I put the photos down if they're glossy like this one is and I just got this from oops, it's kind of wrecked my photo there. Something underneath the tape. <laughs> Looks like there's something that came from the silhouette. I have a silhouette die cutter. But if you use just um, a cloth or something else besides your fingers to like smush down the photo onto the page, then you won't get fingerprints. I noticed on one of my layouts that I did recently, there's a great big fingerprint on the photo. Like, oops. Okay. So next step up is journaling title and then embellishments and then we'll be done. So yeah, 38 minutes in. I guess it takes, when I'm doing a video, it takes me about 40 to 50 minutes to finish a layout. If I do a layout without talking about it, it's it's more like 30 minutes. But add the videoing in, and it, slows, it does slow me down a little bit. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to do some of hers she's got. Uh, I'm just trying to think of where would Celeste Smith put the... I sort of want to put it here. Like, Jesse, like a question? Maybe. Um, sometimes she does it right outside. Huh. Like, it could go here, but I sort of think the journaling is going to go here for me. So, I want to say, like, Jesse, like a question? So, let's see about letters. Now I have some Studio Calico letters very close by, and I think they might work. 
So most scrapbookers will, most good scrapbookers will plan out their letter stickers. <laughs> I'm not, I don't have the patience. <laughs> but I do, one thing I do like to do is just write down the word because so many times if I'm talking, I will, um, so question. I'll miss a letter, <laughs> and then people will think I can't spell, and my sister would be mortified because she's really into, uh, you know, proper grammar and everything else. She used to, um, I don't know if she actually did this or if I just made it up and said she did this, but she used to, um, <laughs> here's how the legend goes anyways, she used to get love no lo notes from boyfriends and she would send them back with red marks. But I think if you asked her, she'd probably say, I just made that up. <laughs> Which I probably did. <laughs> but it's a good story, isn't it? <laughs> She's, um, okay. I think this is going to be too long. Which is going to be really sad, because I think these letters would be really cute. Let me just see if I can squeeze it in here. There's a couple tricks that I'm going to show you to making it squeeze. That's going to be too long, so, hmm. <clears throat> so one thing we can do to make it shorter is to just cut off, and this is chipboard, so it's a little bit, it's a little bit hard to do it, but I'm just cutting off that, the, like, little, the serifs, is that what you call them? Sand serif, this is serif, some of the serifs. <laughs> I don't know if that's what you call them. Just to make things squish a little better. And I wonder if you see this, if you see the layout before you see the video, I wonder if you would notice. I bet you you wouldn't. Maybe you would, but I guess that a lot of people won't. And you know who really won't notice? Your family. <laughs> they seriously won't care. They will seriously never notice stuff like that. So your scrapbooking friends might. Okay. So I'm going to leave it. I know those letters aren't perfect. And I could probably make them more perfect. But I'm not going to even try. So there's... The Studio Calico... Stickers. See if I can get this back in there. I kind of like these little asterisks. Let me just see if I can. Maybe just one more up here. Okay. Those are getting kind of messy, but. I'll do them sometime else. So another one of my favorite um, letter stickers are these little Tim Holtz Ideology large or label stickers. And these I think were two bucks and they came with so many. And yeah, I really, really like them. So Jesse, like a question? Okay. So here's where I want to have it kind of aligned on the right. So I'm going to say, Jesse, like a question. So I'm going to spell things backwards. So our dog came with the name. <laughs> and actually, it wasn't her original name. They don't really know what her original name was. But, um, like, the people who rescued her and put her on a plane down here to Florida. She's from Alabama. Um, just, you know, they have to choose names, I guess, for all the dogs. So they just chose Jessie. And um, she didn't really know her name for a while. I think she's getting to know it now. Um, but it's kind of funny because 
the first couple days, my in-laws were like, is she deaf? <laughs> it's like, she doesn't even, like, you could be yelling your head off with her name and she wouldn't even come. <laughs> so, we don't really know what her actual name was. And we just kept her name because my daughter wanted to name her Lucy, which is really a cute name. I would have liked that. Um, but my, my son didn't like it, and he wanted to name her Glacier or <laughs> some other word. And my daughter was not having that, so just to keep the peace, we were like, maybe we'll just keep her name as Jessie. That sounds good. And it reminded me of Rick Springfield, so that, that's never bad, right? Okay, <clears throat> that was my first concert. My sister was in love with Rick Springfield back in the day. So, Jesse, like a question? <laughs> um, okay, the rest of it, what else do I need to do? I need to do some journaling, and I'm just going to make some lines over here. Let me see. This is my black Sharpie. And then I'm going to actually do the journaling with a blue Sharpie. Oh, the head tilt in this picture reminds me so much of our sweet dandy dog and how much he loved a question about anything. And I love mom, January 2014. Okay, so there's the little journaling. And I feel like it's pretty done. Let me see what Celeste Smith would do in terms of embellishment. And I want to say she does very, so um, what, I'm looking at one called Sunday Morning. She's got two little buttons. I'm looking at one called Kitchen Sink, and she's got some doodads. Some do, yeah, like maybe a few more doodads. But oftentimes she's really just, she's, she does buttons. Looks like a lot. Let's do a button. <laughs> Let's find a button. Um, I do have these three little doodads, but let me just look in my little button folder here, or my button muffin tin, a little embellishment muffin tin. This helps me so much because I'm, I'm really inclined to just say, oh, oh we're all done, <laughs> when, I'm, when I'm at this point in a layout. Um, so here's a little button with some, I don't think Celeste Smith would use that button. She, sometimes she uses one, and let me just look, or a few times I see one here where she's just used two, and let me just look at maybe, I'm going to look at that Keurig layout again, she's got like embellishment, embellishment, so I kind of think Maybe if I'm going to use this one that she wouldn't use, I would put it there. And then I might put the other one like I don't know. I almost think she wouldn't even use anything. It will be interesting if she sees this later to have her say what she would have done. Here's like a green button. I don't know what to do. I <laughs> I'm at a loss. Okay, here's a little one with pink, which I think she would never use, but my Jessie has a pink. Well, she did until today have a pink collar. I don't think I'm gonna use that. Well, this is hard. <laughs> I don't know what to do. She would do a button though, I know she would. There's a little. Oh. 
This is hard. <laughs> it's not really hard. It's just fun. Blech. <laughs> I don't know where I should put this button. I ha also have flare. I don't think she really uses flare so much. Flare. Ugh. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do. I hate everything. <laughs> Okay, it's a, this is like not what I think she would use at all. It's um, a little flare with a, an alarm clock on it. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just think that's like kind of funny. Because like, you know, alarmed. <laughs> and then put the star up here. Now, I don't think this is how she would embellish. I, I kind of like the and. Because I'm not just referring to her, I'm also referring to our old dog. Yeah, it seems like a weird choice, but I'm just going to do two, which is um, not three, <laughs> which is would be usually what you would do. But I'm going to use two, and I'm going to use flare instead of buttons, and I think she would use buttons. And I'm um, <clears throat> just going to use... Some adhesive. This is 3M. I get it by the roll. And I think this will work to get those this stuff down. What do you call this? Flare. To get the flare down. So I'm going to put that up into my borders at the top. Oh, this one already has one. And that just kind of like, the page is kind of going like that. So that's, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Thank you for watching. I'm Katie Scott. This has um, been a scrapbook layout channeling Celeste Smith for the Get It Scrapped blog. If you would like to see more layouts by Celeste Smith herself, go check out Get It Scrapped or Masterful Scrapbook Design where she is a frequent teacher. There's my Jessie. Let me see if you can see it see her little face a little better. Not really. She's very pretty. You'll have to trust me. Or you did see her. Um, so go check out Get It Scrapped. There's a blog post up where lots of other scrapbookers have also channeled Celeste Smith. Um, Celeste Smith. Thank you for watching. Uh, have a great day. Great scrapbooking day. Make a page and go put it up on the gallery over at Get It Scrapped. Um, we have a very lively gallery over there and people will leave thoughtful comments on your layouts and um, so you can get constructive feedback over there by very nice people. Okay, that's all. Bye.